North Korea today test firing cruise missiles off its east coast in response to what Kim Jong-un sees as growing aggression, his words, from South Korea and its allies. That's coming just days after North Korea simulated a nuclear attack on South Korea Monday, which brings us to tonight's original. In-depth reporting on a topic we've been watching. These latest missile launches by North Korea are in response to the biggest war games in the region between the U.S. and South Korea in five years. Our own Josh Letterman is there in the middle of the action, behind the scenes for these live fire exercises with artillery Blackhawk choppers and more. Here's Josh. Not far from the North Korean border, U.S. and South Korean troops are practicing for a war they hope they'll never fight. Over 11 days, the two militaries training as one, firing live artillery, flying attack helicopters, and practicing amphibious operations. War games the U.S. says are defensive and no threat to North Korea unless it attacks first. The U.S. and South Korea haven't conducted war games on this scale in six years. But after recent North Korean provocations, including just today, military officials say they are more important than ever. Do you feel ready if a conflict were to break out here tonight? 100 percent. Absolutely. In the middle of today's exercises, North Korea launching multiple cruise missiles into the Sea of Japan a searing reminder of what's at stake. Last year, North Korea test fired more than 70 missiles, the most ever. Recent imagery from North Korean state media suggests the North is using underground silos. Military analysts say that could allow it to launch ballistic missiles with no notice. In the past, this was developmental testing, but now I think they're actually doing exercises. So nuclear war fighting exercises, ballistic missile attack exercises, bomber run exercises. So I don't call these developmental tests anymore. After decades of tensions, the U.S. appears to have largely run out of options to deal with Pyongyang's growing nuclear threat. Well, this South Korean commander says we'll establish a decisive battle posture to fight and win. These military exercises are taking place just 10 miles from the demilitarized zone. North Korea calls them rehearsals for an invasion. Nothing motivates a U.S. soldier to be all they can be more than uh, uh, sleeping 10 miles from uh, an adversary. And when that adversary is firing ballistic missiles, it provides an incredible focus to this training. This week, Kim Jong-un overseeing what North Korea called a simulation of a nuclear counterstrike against U.S. and South Korean forces. At the North Korean leader's side, his daughter, Kim Joo-ae, believed to be about 10 years old. Until recently, her existence was a mere rumor. Now, North Korea is putting her front and center fueling intense speculation about whether she's being groomed to one day replace her father. Almost nothing is known about Kim Joo-ae, but South Korean intelligence believes she's being homeschooled and is an avid horseback rider. Yu Songboom is a South Korean lawmaker on the National Assembly's Intelligence Committee. He says eight of the ten times Kim Joo-ae has been seen publicly have been at military functions. Uh, I'm not. He says with North Korea suffering food shortages, South Korean intelligence is picking up signs that starving North Koreans are growing angry at how the leader's daughter appears well-dressed and well-fed. North Korea experts say it's too soon to tell what role she'll play in the secretive nation's future or what her public debut means about the North's military intentions, leaving the world once again guessing. Josh Letterman is joining us now. And Josh, you know, for years we've heard about tensions with North Korea. This has been a pain point for almost every president. Donald Trump took a very different tack than, let's say, Joe Biden, right? Like two very different presidents, two very different attitudes. What is different now, if anything? Well, military officials say, Hallie, that it is different. And it's perhaps not surprising that a lot of people are sort of tuning this out because it feels like it's almost every day that the North right. is testing some type of missile. But in the meantime, what has the North doing? They're testing their Hwasong-17 intercontinental ballistic missile, the largest that they've ever developed. They're using these underground silos that are so hard to detect a potential launch in advance. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, they're also working towards a solid fuel missile which could be launched really at any time because they don't have to load it up with fuel in advance. So those are very concerning developments in their weapons program. But in the meantime, the North Koreans say, look, you guys are the ones who are 10 miles from our border conducting these huge military war games, the largest in six years. That is something different. They call that a provocation. And just yeah. in the last few hours, Hallie, North Korea has come out saying that any effort 
efforts by the United States to try to get them to get rid of their nuclear weapons would be tantamount to a declaration of war. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.